hello guys and welcome back to another video here on my channel today we are basically going to be doing a glitched carrier mode and this is not a series or anything this is just a little video um so yeah if you like this video just smash the like button and um subscribe for more videos like this so if you didn't already know you can actually have fake players on your team so let's go here we say barcelona and uh what do we do then we uh, are gonna go to search and then detailed and then we go through the leagues until we actually can see that the futsal title like from volta game mode and you can see these team names team name a b b r 15 uh, stuff like that so what you do is just you just take any and then you just uh well, you can't transfer uh, players who are not goalkeepers uh, because they um, don't have enough players at their team. So uh, you see, that it comes out with these fake players right here. So let's just take the youngest. I mean, it depends how old they all are. Let's just quickly check and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I'm going to go with this fake player here. Uh, he is uh, 67 rated and he is, uh, what was it, 21 years of age. So... Um, Let's just put him at a team that we want to control for this career mode. Let's just, uh, I'm just going to choose a random a random team. Okay, so we're going to transfer him to Fuenlabrada. As you guys can see now, he plays there. And then we have this right here, a female avatar test. And I would really wish that we could get her into career mode, because then that would be the only female in career mode. Also, these guys as well, you cannot transfer them into career mode either. So now we're going to go down and we're going to find Fuenlabrada. Here it is. And you can see that. Where is the fake player at? Here he is. So you can see that they have a fake player now. And I can also play with him in career mode. He's from France. And uh, yeah, I will, I will make a career mode quickly after I've showed you guys one more glitch. So a thing that you can also do is you can go into create player. And it has to be a male player because female players, you can't have them in career mode. So just choose a random one of these. I'm just going to choose this guy over here. And uh, his name doesn't really matter or anything. It's only his, uh, well, his nation. You just want to find a random nation like that. There are no players from. I'm going to go here with Nepal. And uh, you basically want to make him a free agent so you can sign him in the first season. Basically what this is, is that a regen of him spawns automatically and he's totally OP. I'm going to create a few more players just if, if this doesn't work because it's not always it works. But sometimes he starts at like a 86, 87 overall, sometimes even 90 overall. So you want to make him as old as possible. And then you just want to um, get over here and just change his position. If you want him to be a striker here, that's it. And then we're done. Okay guys, so I've done it with two players here as you can see and they are as old as possible So what I'm gonna do now is just go into a career mode and if you've done this remember Don't download the latest update because that's gonna remove all of the players that you have So here you see I can download a new squad But I'm just gonna use current squads because otherwise the players that I've just created and the fake player that I've just added to the team They're just gonna get deleted and another glitch that we have is in the manager customizations. We have these things right here, which I saw from a YouTuber called PCHD Gaming. We basically have this rainbow jacket right here that you can actually wear. It, it looks it looks pretty nice, pretty smooth. Um, I don't think that there is any other things. I don't think there are pants or anything. It doesn't look like it. So now that we're inside of the career mode, we're going to go over to the squad hub. And uh, as you guys can see right here, uh, just at the um, squad, it looks it looks very normal. That's until we go to squad hub, and here we have this guy. His name is Fake Player. He's 20 years of age, 67 rated, and he's showing great potential. So um, let's try to make him like one of the best goalkeepers in the game. But um, yeah, also we want to go to search players, and you remember the custom players that I made. So you want to go over to the free agents. And then you just want to, uh, well, take this to like 20 years of age. And then you want to search. And you can see here, Jake Andrew. Look at this. Look at these stats. I mean, sometimes they can also be um, like, what, uh, 90, 92 rated overall or something. But um, yeah, you could see uh, Jake Andrew or whatever his name was right there. I don't know if the other guy, he didn't. 
Yeah, he, he he has just decided not to. Oh yeah, here he is. Is that no? That's not the guy. No, that's not the guy. Okay, but yeah, the other guy. Then he might still be um, be very old and just retiring at the end of the season. And if he is that, if that's true, then we can uh, pick him up uh, at that time. And no, that is apparently not true. So um, yeah, I, I will try to find him. Oh, here we have the other guy. Uh, Cal Watson from Fiji as you guys can see he's 90 uh, overall he's 21 years of age I I didn't remember uh, which country he was from because I uh, I have uh, recorded this over two days um, but yeah so um, let's go and sign them up and you can actually see that we can actually sign him look we're just gonna delegate his contract and then we will be back in a few days okay so I've just changed the formation and uh, Let's go down here because we've just signed this player. Look, 90 overall. So, uh, yeah, he will probably carry us through this little experiment thing. And, uh, yeah, fake player is also here. Let's see if we can actually train fake player because I'm, I'm, I don't really know if we are actually able to train him. So, yeah, that would be fun to see. And uh, let's go here. We go over here. Fake player is his name. Yeah, we. it looks like we are able to train him which is quite interesting let's, let's just try to make him the best keeper in the game okay guys we've also sound uh, not sound sorry we've also signed this guy Andrew and then uh, Pizarro who was a free agent as well and as well as this guy um, Trinidad he's actually much better than our normal right back so it's good that we have signed him guys we've got a pretty serious injury fake player is out for four months he is a Paris, uh, apparently suffered an anterior cruciate ligament. I don't know what that means, but he's out for four months. Okay, guys, so we are sitting here with fake player uh, in the contract negotiations. And uh, we have our rainbow jacket, of course. It looks, oh my god, it looks so fucking smooth. He's going to be a crucial first team player, fake player's agent. He accepts that. And uh, he wants a four-year deal, and uh, yeah, we will indeed accept that. But look at his agent, like it has like a different logo as to our um, logo on the shirt. So uh, yeah, we're just going to deny his release clause. And uh, cool, then we start with the money and let's put him on a 4k a week. He's currently earning 1.4k a week, let's just say 4k a week. And that's a fair offer. Cool, we've just signed him on a 4 year deal and uh, no release clause. So the first season is done and we uh, finished third but we didn't win the playoffs but a uh, fake player has gone up by plus seven which is really good to see and uh, well the other players um, hold on let's just find them this guy has gone up by plus two Watson and then Jake Andrew has gone up by plus five which is also really good to see. Guys, so this is the third season and yeah as you guys can see right here this is the team I have bought and also sold some players but that doesn't really matter what matters is that our fake player he's 23 years of age and he's an 83 rated player which is really good we are slowly getting him up to that 90 overall to be one of the best and as you also may have seen we have got Kyle Watson up to a 98 overall. I haven't been training him whatsoever, but he's just gone up to a 98 overall all by himself. And he's from Fiji and he's still 24 years of age. Not still, he wasn't that before. But then we have Jake Andrew who is 93 overall rated and he's from Nepal still. And he is 21 years of age now. And uh, yeah, they both will eventually get 99 in rating. But what I think I'm gonna do now is just sim a few more seasons and uh, yeah, just train uh, these players, uh, especially my fake player or our fake player, and then uh, yeah, and then we will see each other in a couple of seasons. Guys, just something very quick here. Fake player has been called up for the French national team. This is absolutely insane. If I get the offer for the French uh, uh, coach, I will definitely accept it. I will. Don't worry. Yes guys, we finally did it. We got the offer from France. Let's just quickly accept this. And we are at the end of this season already. And uh, we've got, I don't know if I covered this earlier, but 99 rated Watson. Which is really good. Okay guys, so we've apparently been terminated because we gave a 99 overall. A 300,000 
a weak pound deal. Dude, there's 90 overall players who's got that. Yet, this guy is 99 overall. Anyway, I'm gonna load up a previous save and then I'm just gonna start from there. Alright guys, so we are in the Euros finals with France. And as you guys can see, we have fake player uh, in the starting lineup against Italy. We're gonna be simulating this game and yeah, let's just hope for a win because then that would mean... Yes, we win the game guys. Fake player has won the Euros as a goalkeeper. <laughs> we imagine like who's won the Euros before Ronaldo. Even though they only won like one or two games in that uh, in that uh, campaign, and you know we have like other players as well that's won the Euros: David Villa, Iniesta, Xavi Hernandez. Like big name players have won the Euros before, and then we have fake player. Okay, great guys. A year later, we get it in almost the exact same message. We don't get sacked this time though, but you know, I mean. Come on, he's 99 rated, man. He's only on 270k a week, fam. How is my manager rating that low? Like, seriously. I mean, we, we are playing good. Iniestra is leaving, though. So, um, yeah. But we also have Ricky Pooch at 90 rated. And Jake Andrew at 99. Brahim at 88. This guy. I don't know how to pronounce his name. So, um, yeah. Now that he's leaving, we should give this space to Castillo Grau who we actually got from the free agents he's uh, 80 rated at 20 years of age which is amazing and uh, Hiroki Abe is also um, increasing in rating but that doesn't matter for this uh, career mode it's only about fake player and these two guys but they've have they have already reached 99 overall okay guys so for some weird reason um, we have Watford in the uh, in the Europa League final, which to me doesn't make any sense. Why Watford in the... Oh my days, we're first in the league as well. Oh my god, well, we can still drop. Uh, we also got to play against Atletico Madrid, but... Um, oh well, we're we actually going to simulate the game, but I'm going to I'm gonna play the game against, um, against Watford. And we also won the uh, Copa del Rey, as, it's, as it is in real life. And uh, I, yeah, we must have finished third in our group in the Champions League. Uh, where are we? We should be here. Oh, we didn't even qualify for the. Oh, yeah, we finished fourth, fifth last season. So we just came straight into the group stages of the Europa League or what? Let's see. Yeah, okay, so we won every single game, I think. Uh, who did we meet here? We met. Where are we? There. We met Benfica 7 2 on aggregate. And then we went up against Arsenal 5 1 on aggregate. Wolfsburg 4-2 on aggregate, Leverkusen 6-1 on aggregate, and then in the final against Watford. Okay, this is going to be an easy final then. Um, yeah, let me just check our players quickly. Okay, so we're going up against Atletico Madrid now on the final day, and they are second all my days. We are literally playing Watford three day after. What is this? Like, who made this? Okay, but um, we will have to... Maybe not start our best team. I will uh, play like this. I still think that we can beat them. And Ricky Pooch is injured. Unfortunately, 91 rated. Uh, and he's injured. So um, that's not very good, and of course. But um, yeah, I'm going to... I would I would rather win the Europa League final than I will win uh, the La Liga. But even if they beat us, it's still not 100% that they're going to win La Liga. I think they might be in the Champions League final as well. And we do draw the game, which means that we win. But our other, our other centre mid has just got injured as well. So, um, and he's out for four months. So it's not a short-term injury like three days. And look, I, oh my days, I hate this. Like you've agreed a pre-contract agreement with another club. How can I fix your wages, fam? You're not gonna sign a new contract, are you? And fake player, he's at 88 rated as you've. 89 sorry as you've already seen and uh, we will also be trying to win the World Cup with him uh, That might be a uh, Yeah, it's gonna be in this episode of course or we could do a mini series with the French national team the World Cup We could do that as well. I feel like maybe we should do that um, Yeah, I'm, yeah, we should probably do a, a little um, a little mini series with the French national team but um, yeah, this guy, he's going to go out and Ricky Pooch is also injured. So uh, Baldwin, you're coming in for like the first time in five years. And 
yeah, this is probably going to be their starting lineup against Watford. Yeah, this is going to be the starting lineup against Watford. We got two 99 rated players in the squad. I'm really looking forward to play with them, actually. So, um, yeah, let's just head straight into the game. And we are on the way. I mean, I didn't really check their team, but they must have a good team since they made it to the final here. They've got Weston McKennie. Queen has still. He's, uh, he starts there, I, I'm pretty sure. And uh, Ryan Sessegnon. Paul Dwin. So Castillo Grau. Oh my days. I feel like the gameplay is so different. I don't know why. But that one is offside. Carlos Soler from Valencia, Trinidad and Tobago overlaps. I mean, he's probably better than the whole nation of Trinidad and Tobago. Hit that one away. Nope. Quina on the shot. Fake player saves that. Oh, yes. What's the through ball to Barenica or whatever his name is. He's going to finish it. What are you doing, dude? It fell right to you. Why are you not just finishing it? Watson to Jake Andrew did what was that for a shot how are you literally 99 rated that was the worst shot I've possibly ever seen Watson and uh, that's also a free kick isn't it wait have we got anyone with 99 free kick accuracy we have no we have not 94 uh Andrew his right foot as well so uh fam can you move away from the picture please Let's just shoot. It's Andrew. Oh, that was so close to going in, man. His shot power is 99. And now they get a chance and they unfortunately score. Fake player doesn't even die for that one. Back to Andrew. Baldwin. Yes, sir. No, sir. Second half and it's 1-0 to Watford. That's what we like to see. Jake Andrew, we like to see. We don't like to see that. It's... Wait, has he got a one-star weak foot? I'm sorry. Why didn't you shoot with your left foot? Oh, he has got a one-star skill move, but not one-star weak foot. Why didn't you shoot with your left foot, son? And why couldn't you shoot properly? Like, seriously. That was... That's the worst shot I've ever seen in a big game. Tudibo! Close. He doesn't even look like Tudibo. That guy, he looks clapped. This is possibly the worst game I've ever played. I mean, not, not... Yeah, also, it, FIFA 20 is also the worst game, but... Yep, 2-0. No. This is possibly the worst FIFA 20 game that I've ever played. Like, the match itself. Like, what are my players doing? Andrew. Yes, finally you score a goal. I mean, that was also the time to do it. It wasn't really the time to do it. I mean, we have two minutes left and we have to score one more. So, you could have done it in the first half, but you chose not to. You chose to wait until the 90th minute okay it's basically game over after this corner what have i learned from this episode i've learned that you should not do the things that i just did um i mean you could create those players uh, like jake andrew but you shouldn't play with them because they're absolutely clapped they're only good in simulations i mean this was basically it for this um uh for this little video and uh, i've spent like three four days recording this so uh I would really appreciate it if you guys smashed the like button and uh, subscribed. Um, it's It's been hell. I mean, I've signed players, sold a bunch of players, spent more than 10 hours doing this. And we're in 2026 and I'm going to make a mini-series um, uh, with the World Cup. And uh, I've also got some other videos hopefully coming out soon while in quarantine and not having any homework at the moment. But um, yeah, I will see what I can do to upload more videos. Um, I am finally a little bit motivated to do YouTube, but that's only because of these career mode experiments. I also get inspired by other YouTubers such as uh, BCHD Gaming and Jared HD. Their link will be in the description. I will possibly do some stuff that they've also done in the future. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a blessed day and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.